Hi Leo, these are your cards, a romance reading for October. I'm using the uh, um, Pagan Waste Tarot and the uh, lo Love Oracle, um, definitely, from the Island Time Wellness. Okay, it's really black because I'm, I'm thinking of Halloween, dark, okay so i've chosen this is also pagan the pagans have really that's one of the biggest festivals for the pagans halloween so definitely i hope i'm already in the mood for halloween so you've come in with the five of wands leo there could be competition um with uh, you or around you uh, with regards to your you and your partner or getting a new partner you might have to uh, beat the competition or you fear you won't beat the competition let's see what the cards say we also have the coffee cup and the coffee cup means to me take a pause or are you isolating yourself or are you avoiding meeting meet and conversing S uh, savoring the moment feeling uplifted in friendship so you might be going out for a cup of coffee or a drink with your other half so there you go take some quality time out then you can show your true self and beat the competition also there might be a little bit of a disagreement but it's short-lived so remember every cloud has a silver lining so these disagreements are short-lived you can beat the competition as well You've got the Wheel of Fortune, and I said you can beat the will, uh, the competition. Well, this is the Karma card. Karma will come back threefold if you've done good or bad, or if somebody's done you good or bad. The wheel is turning in your advantage, and it's turning upwards. So this is telling me you are stronger than the competition. You could be moving home, moving in together, or going on holiday. There could be more money that's uh, available to you through a promotion or a wage rise. So now that you can take the next step, or step in romance, like getting engaged, getting married, going on a honeymoon, starting a family, expanding the home or the family. Karma is returned to you, like I said. You could be meeting or dealing, if you're a single person, you could be meeting or dealing as, with a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio or an Aquarius if you are separated you could be separated because you need that promotion or you, that wage rise so you could be working globally or on the web you could be traveling for work as well so there could be a slight separation and that brings you sadness missing the other half thinking about you yeah you'll be yearning for them unsure of the f future but the future, yes, you might be unsure because there might be competition and you have to leave them away. Um, you have to need to go away to leave them alone. And you're scared and that will sour the partnership. Believe you me, if there is true love, uh, well, the saying is true. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. So just keep in contact and um, send messages to each other. Doesn't matter where you are. Perhaps because you have to work and you say, I have to go, do you want to come with me? They say, I can't, or they could, and then they say, oh, yes, but you're always working. Yeah, well, what are you doing it for? Tell them that. What am I doing that for? Because we want to come together and we want to hurry up so that we can get married and start our family and be happy, have more money. Together we stand strong, darling. But... Definitely, I feel you um, are going on your own. You're isolating yourself a little bit. Because I fear that you fear the competition and confrontations. You might need to think about certain things. And like the Hermit, this is the Hermit, Virgo. And we've got Libra here. So definitely, did we have Libra? No, we don't. Uh, the Hermit. We do have Leo, Virgo. I thought we had, we had, no, that was the last reading, reading sorry. So definitely, uh, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So you might be breaking away because somebody might be toxic. This could be separation, 
somebody going to the clinic for drying out so you'll be separated it doesn't have to be uh, traveling the world or working but it can be so you might need some time out to think you might take a midweek break or a weekend away or traveling like you've got the two tra the travel card and the break card here you could be seeking advice this could also be about spiritual advice this could come from a priest this could come from a reader uh, an, um, a psychic a medium a paragnost or anybody that reads um, intuitively healing your heart he does the retreats he lightens his load so he lets go of the old to let in the new life experiences and uh, knowledge so perhaps you are healing um, going on holiday um, perhaps after a separation you could be spending some quality time alone with your other half because this does mean travel these these four cards do have the combination of coming together and healing meditation contemplation and evaluation around mid-month we or the third week we have the six of pentacles here are some results if you are not getting that wage at this moment at the beginning of the month um, then uh, you could be getting a helping hand from a family a member or from a professional from an institution look it looks like the steps to a courthouse definitely he can be your guide he can be your advisor like I said on how to make more money you might be readying yourself to get that promotion you might have had to do a short course because definitely you've got the world and you've got the wheel so there are big major moves coming in and changes you've got the twin flames yin yang zen balance you found your balance okay union duality coupling complement each other like i said with this cup of coffee make sure that you are keeping the conversation going be complimentary to each other be loving and know your boundaries be gentle you will find the balance back within yourself especially if you take time out to meditate and contemplate and with each other twin flames are a soulmate it doesn't have to be a romantic partner but definitely in the, in this case i think it does because it's your romance reading you found the balance you are not letting anybody separate you your heart your hearts are healed and there is one two as one okay also we've got the world like i said the world is your oyster you're in balance like here balance okay uh, definitely um, you could be getting married engaged starting a family it, it means exactly the same more or less as the wheel also the karma i take this as my karma card so major karma shift perhaps you might be getting a major download on how to do some things uh, or gaining knowledge you might be looking or searching on the web okay wow this is really a beautiful reading so you've got a couple of cards that show that um, that you could be getting married take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand gambling excuse me sorry about that uh, close the window now so anyway take a chance on this relationship you are more powerful you're stronger and you're the phoenix that's rising out of the ashes but be careful know your boundaries know their boundaries and because you don't want that devil card from the tarot to come out that they are leaning on you maintain the equilibrium and the balance in your relationship so it stays a healthy and strong relationship I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care and have a beautiful, successful, loving month. Thank you.